Here's a quick little video on my daily jobs that I do. We've got a 395 Discovery, Bermuda hull, and climbing down underneath the boat, we're going to find ourselves, I'll zoom in so you can see this, a little hairline crack. Just work that out there, there it is there. Little hairline crack runs all the way to here. All right. I got asked by the customer, do you drill a hole in the end of it and so that the crack doesn't run any further and all that sort of jazz. I told him no, because uh, just the techniques for doing this sort of thing. All I'm gonna do is wire buff this whole area here and then where the crack looks like it finishes, finishes there, starts about here. I'm just gonna weld past it. I'll weld 30, 40 mil past it with a nice TIG weld right across the whole lot of it until the end of the crack and then just weld another 20, 30 mil past it and that should suffice any problems later on. Let's get into it. I'll get a wire buff, we get started. Safety first, every time. So it's from there to there. So if I weld past at 20 mil, 30 mil, weld past at 30 mil, I'm gonna use the TIG welder for this. It hasn't had any a sort of metal bog in there or anything like that. It had a piece of sticky tape over it. So don't, don't use that stuff. It makes it a lot harder for me to fix it for you properly. All right, so I'm gonna set the TIG welder up bring it over and we'll just run a beautiful bead it looks in it the aluminium looks in really good condition so it should leave a really nice weld all right let's just get ourselves comfortable on the ground here always comfortable on the ground I just don't want to drip any hot sparks on me. That's never any fun. But I can see what's going on. Welders are plugged in, ready to go. Got myself a filler rod. Let's lay down some nice little beads, hopefully. One rod wasn't enough. And it's not as 
clean as I needed it to be. That's all I needed. So I've gone past it by 30 mil and I've gone past it that last little bit that I didn't have enough welding wire. I've gone past that as well. So now I'll run back over that with the wire buff. It doesn't need it, but there's a little bit of black tape which burnt. So I'll just clean that up to make it look much nicer all right come up here and have a look My little weld it didn't weld as nice as I wanted to but it never does so a little quick repair done to the tinny uh, this happens to a lot of them so this is another side of the business where I do repairs as well not just fabricating all nice fancy new stuff uh, if, if you don't get this repair done, you're not using the boat and it can lead to the crack being longer and longer and creating a, a worse problem. <clears throat> but, you know, having all the equipment, I've got the TIG welder, I've got the wire buff and I've got the know-how how to do it. Um, it mightn't take me long to do the job, but the skills involved to do that, uh, you know, it's a trade situation where you've done four years of training. Um, I've had a couple of apprentices come through here, which have, they've been good lads and learnt to weld off me, which is always like a feather in my cap, teaching someone how to do something, and then hence taken over with the, the YouTube here and uh, wanting to show what I know to, to you guys. So possibly you can do this at home some stage. Uh, Anyway, aside from that, uh, thank you for watching. All my new subscribers, I've hit 3,000 subscribers. That's a big milestone for me. Uh, it's fantastic to have everybody on board here watching what, what I'm doing and, and when I'm doing it. Um, so uh, if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button now so you don't miss the next video. I've got a couple of great videos coming up soon. Ones of a fuel tank, ones of a bait board. Um, how to clean your boat, all of these things are coming up in the next couple of videos. So, uh, so keep an eye on them, subscribe if you haven't, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.